Start recording. All right. Rip through this theme song. This is by my friend Patrick of the band Genucci Power. Post this for us. Boom! Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're uh, going to be starting our building up here in just a moment. Uh, going to be looking at the Birds of Paradise set. So, um, yeah, excited to check this one out. I am. I, sh I should say I am tentatively excited about this set because it looks from the pictures like it's going to go really fast and be a bunch of really big pieces and I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, because it's like a, it's like 1100 pieces or something like that. So I, I don't know. So something there's a disconnect in the two sides of my expectations surrounding this set. So we will see what it looks like here. Go ahead and open it up. Got this, uh, our box is kind of smushed here already. And uh, I tend to want to keep um, the, uh, tend to want to keep these botanical sets around. So keeping the boxes is not really a big priority to me because I don't, I don't anticipate uh, needing to resell anyway. Oh, I see. Push tabs on this side here. Um, plus, I think even if I do decide to sell this set someday, unlike the branded properties, I think the box isn't even going to really add that much value to it. Like, they tend to be, uh, more important for, like, the Star Wars sets and things like that. We got our nice, cool, uh, cool, uh, booklet here. Check out what's going on in these bags. Oh, yeah, we got... We got a lot of stuff. I mean, this is... I mean, they don't lie about the piece count. We knew 1,100 was going to be a good amount. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean... So here's all the little studs that are the potting soil, but this isn't that many of the pieces. I mean, so not sure, uh, not sure uh, what a lot of this build is going to look like. It's going to be interesting. Let's see here. Those are part of number five, so I expect that's going to be the final step. Um, uh, since it wouldn't make sense to be putting loose stuff in. Um, Alright, we got one, we got a bunch of stuff or two. Oh, here's, uh, so here's a little bit of more. So, I mean, that is a decent amount of parts. Probably like 200, maybe. 200 pieces or so. Let's see. See how much that inflates our, our part count here. I mean, that is literally step five. <laughs> the last page. 300, okay. So 300 pieces is uh, is just the, the soil. So <laughs> uh, that takes it down to about 800. Um, you know, that's still, still quite a few pieces. So we'll see, we'll see here. Um, but yeah, let's get organized here a little, because I'm not going to have time to do all of this today. Got about 40 minutes left to stream, so we might even just get to the first bag today, but we will see. It feels, I mean, step two is kind of a lot, so it feels ambitious to think uh, that I'll be able to get that stuff done, because I really need to practice my base. I, my band is recording right now, and uh, I I need to get my parts done uh, at our recording sessions tonight and tomorrow night, so um, I want to start 
practicing and warming up a little bit before I head over there. So unfortunately, can't uh, let the stream really run too long today. But let's get this first bag done, and then um, next week should be good to yeah, I got like nothing on the calendar for August uh ne yeah next week should be good to uh maybe go a little longer and um yeah finish it up all in one so let's start by checking out our booklet here Birds of Paradise, whether you're celebrating your love of horticulture or simply looking for a colorful, maintenance-free flowering plant, well, that is true, we hope our interpretation of the exotic Birds of Paradise gives you hours of pleasurable Lego building. Pretty cool. So this is the first model from the Botanical Collection. So yeah, this is like the this is like the first round. We have the flower bouquet and the bonsai tree here. Let's see. This stunning flowering plant is indigenous to South Africa and can grow up to six and a half feet tall, two meters. Uh, it produces a brilliant orange plume-like flower that resembles the head of a bird, which inspired the plant's more collo colloquial names, birds of paradise or crane flower. The brilliant blue beauty of its flower tends to leave a lasting impression on anyone who sees it during their tropical travels. Cool. Wow. Oh, uh, bags one and two just for the just for the pot here. Um, so we're not even gonna we're not even gonna finish the pot today. But I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then three and four for the all the flowering stuff. So. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting build. I think. So, let's get into bag number one here. What? Look at all those gold rings. What are those for? All right, all right. I'm getting a little excited. <laughs> there's, there's, there's some weird stuff in here. We got our brick separator. Make sure we're not leaving anything in the bag. Get our guys open up here. What are what are all these gold rings about? What? Why? <laughs> so weird. Well, we're definitely gonna find out here. Definitely not an element I was expecting to see today. So, all right, let's start off this first structure. We're going to need four of, but it's all just one page, so basically going to be building one at a time here. Get some hinges, little plates, Bring some studs up the side. And then we got, okay, okay. Use that to create a little angle here. And bring some more studs up the side, okay. And we're going to make four of these and arrange them into a nice little radial pattern here. Nope, already doing it wrong. Okay. gonna go yep so we'll have a nice little uh, eight 
sections, just like just like we just had with the uh, with the Death Star. Everything's uh, down here. These guys, these little trays, welcome to the stream. Chaps the Goblin King. Try to keep myself organized here. If I, if I lose my stuff onto the floor, I'm never going to get it back, so... Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, awesome. Mayhem Comics. That's righteous. I'll appreciate you stopping by the stream, checking it out here. Let me just try to have a nice little calm uh, building sesh. Yeah, for sure, man. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't been to... Uh, haven't been to uh, uh, play Magic in quite a while. So, hope you've been doing well and uh, busting heads and winning lots of prizes and stuff. TIE Bomber. Did I not update my... Does it say I'm building the TIE Bomber right now? I thought I updated my thing, but... What? It didn't publish. <laughs> oh man, my fault. I thought I updated it before I started. Well... Let's try to update it right now. I'll grab it real quick. <laughs> I'll grab it real quick and show it to you here. not updating it that's weird maybe this window needs to be refreshed or something yeah, there, there we go all right now now it's updating um yeah, uh, band band is good. Um, we're uh, we're actually uh, recording like right now. Like uh, I'm gonna be trying to finish up uh, the rest of my bass tracks uh, tonight, and uh, yeah, then we'll have uh, you know just vocals to go on our uh, on our second album. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we've uh, played a ton of awesome shows over this last year. It's been uh, it's been a it's been a good time. Uh, we've been playing uh, kind of all over Des Moines. Um, we played at Lefties a few times. Uh, Teehee's Comedy Club, um, which uh, yeah, they're like you know, a newer comedy club, but they started doing, like, hardcore shows and stuff there, so that's pretty sweet. 
edition. Um, where else have we played recently? Hull Avenue Tap a couple of times. Oh, yeah, recording. Um, we're, we're actually doing all the recording ourselves. So we, uh, we bought um, some equipment. Uh, we bought ourselves some equipment with the band fund, and uh, our, our lead guitarist has uh, been uh, recording and stuff. He's always, uh, he's always been into that stuff. Um, uh, really, really talented musician. Um, definitely uh, one of the driving forces of the band. And uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, basically doing it all himself, so... Yeah, for sure. Well, and, and I mean, it's, you know, he's in the band, so it's like he's extra um, motivated to, uh, extra motivated to um, uh, have everything sound good. You know, he, you know, he has a personal stake in it. Okay, this is cool. So I've been wondering, yeah, we got these, all these gold, gold rings in here. A piece I was shocked to see in this plant, um, but we are. It looks like we're going to be using them basically as spacers here. So I wonder if that's just like this element just provided the the perfect amount of space uh, between these two elements. Um, that's a really unique way to do it. Definitely did not have that on my bingo card for this set. Well, that's weird. I'm going to go ahead and skip the John Kennedy speech. That was in the classical music section on uh, on YouTube's audio library. I mean, it is classical, I suppose, in a way. All right. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool. I mean, I'm uh, oh man, I'm pretty ready to be done with recording. I hate I hate recording, honestly. I hate recording. Um, wow, look at that. Oh yeah, that is nice. It it is the basically the perfect amount of space. Uh, yeah, oh, that's cool. Keeps this from sliding around. I mean, well, I guess, I don't know if it would slide around anyway. Well, whatever. It's fun fun to know that they're in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, it, recording drives me bananas because it's so much, like, starting, stopping, you make a mistake, you have to, you know, just take it from the top and, like, all, you know. I just I just enjoy it so much less than I do performing the music in a live setting but you know it is cool like I you know I'll be excited once the album is done and the uh, final final product is there but the process itself is not not my favorite part of being in a band but well worth it though yeah it, it is a cool design I uh, I think that's pretty sweet. And it looks like we're gonna have a couple more layers that are basically the same here, more or less. This pot is gonna be really sturdy when we're done with it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this pot is going to be really sturdy, and I like that um, there's so many, uh, like, it's it's going to have a nice heft to it. You know, you really want the base part of a set like this to be nice and substantial so that it's got a low center of gravity. A little one little breeze isn't gonna like ruin your your whole day when this falls over and spills all these little pebbles all over your floor. All right, interesting. Well, yeah, I guess it's not just gonna be all the same layers because there's only two of these. Okay, some more. 
blocks in here. Excuse me. Coffee's making me burp. It's not on top pieces. You can just go uh, through these steps at the same time, basically. Here, let's see. adding enough weight now that it is getting a little a little jiggly here so we'll definitely yeah it's going to be another layer of uh, ring based braces in here soon I would anticipate let's see this into place and then well not quite yet actually we're gonna do these guys first I'm doing this right oh no I'm doing this so wrong okay hold on get out of there get out of there you goofball almost skipped a whole dang step here all right that was right that was right that was right yeah, back it up. Back it up. Well, we say it on the stream all the time. It's it's Legos are great for people that make mistakes because you can always <laughs> you can always undo it. And we all make mistakes. So therefore, Lego is good for everybody. I mean, that's just math my math <laughs> all right so these hinges are going to add a little bit of uh, structural integrity here as well so that is definitely good another row of hinges and then I mean eventually I mean we, I still got rings so I'm quite certain we're going to get another brace that's basically the same thing we've got these pegs we've got the rings seems a certainty Oh, interesting. That sounds cool. Yeah, I like uh, I like the challenge building. Um, there's uh, there's a streamer um, that I watched. Uh, oh, what what is it's? I think VR Chill builds. VR Chill builds. I'm pretty sure is is who I'm thinking of that did this. Uh, he was uh, he was uh, doing like. It was like a charity stream or like an anniversary, like a stream anniversary. I can't remember what he was building for, but he was building uh, one of the big um, uh, uh, Lego Death Stars. And one of the, uh, you know, he had a few like purchasable things basically um, where, you know, you spend bits and, and he would do things like put different colored blocks in or like get a random colored block to like, you know, put like a random pink brick in there in the middle of the gray or whatever. And one of them was uh, to have him put his VR goggles on and, and build, you know, look at the instruct, you know, he was just looking at the instructions and everything like through his VR goggles. So everything was grayscale. That was very entertaining. I enjoyed that immensely. Yeah, it was uh it was a tough it was tough sailing. But uh definitely definitely added some some fun uh wrinkles to it. So, but the walkie-talkie challenge, oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe 
Maybe I'll try to do something like that sometime. I could get my roommate probably to help me out. Or something like that. Or maybe another streamer would want to like collaborate on something like that. Seems like it could be uh, have the potential to be incredibly silly in a way that uh, I find appealing. Ah! Man down. Entertaining and silly, that's the brand. Yeah, I mean, silly is uh, silly's pr pretty much been my personal brand for a long time. My goodness, can I not drop this piece? Yeah, I think uh, I think that has uh, some serious potential. I, that or some variation, you know, some something that's something that's uh, an added wrinkle to make uh, to make the build more challenging. I think that would be a good um, a good thing to try sometime. Blindfolded. <laughs> You know, somewhere between there and blindfolded. Something that wouldn't make it literally impossible, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try to build something with my, like, uh, Carhartt winter gloves on or something like that. That would be, that would be challenging. <laughs> that might be, that might be closer to the impossible category than I'm giving it credit for, honestly. But that would be an interesting one to try. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, that is that is true. Yeah, the Lego community has like Yeah. The uh yeah, I mean, because that could be referencing well, I guess these aren't particularly flat, you know. I think, uh, yeah, if the Lego community has, like, very specific terms for the pieces, only some of which I know, because I'm a bit of a filthy casual. But, like, on the on the Lego, like, subreddits and stuff, people, like, you know, there's, like, there's super... Yeah, right, I know. <laughs> yeah, people make... People tend to want to make things much more technical and complex than they maybe need to be, but... You know, I get it. All right. Let's, oh, I just skipped a page, I think. Well, no, no, no. Now maybe I didn't. I just, I just failed to do some steps that were on this page. Got to get this guy on here. There we go. All right, and just build up one more layer here. Yeah, this thing is nice and secure now. Very, very chunky and solid feeling. We like that. A couple of extra golden rings left over here. That's that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely, um, that's one of the hallmarks of, of Lego. Honestly, like, it's, it, it is sad, but it's also fun, too. I like that there's constantly these uh, design choices and little elements that are, you know, having built it, it's a part of the process that you, you know, know... Um, although you may not remember all of them, certainly, if you build a ton of Legos like I do, but the, the build process itself has, like, these little hidden things. In fact, earlier on the stream, we built the, uh, this was, like, a, a little gift with purchase, like, extra set, um, so Death Star 2 here, you know, and it's got this little Easter egg, um, 
this little section right here, like all these other panels just have like support struts basically. And when I was building it, I was like, oh, well, this part is different. So that's probably going to be the part where the laser is cradled, right? Makes sense why I would think that. It's like, well, it's one part that's, you know, not, I mean, this part obviously was not symmetrical too. But like out of these five sections, the one part that's different, you'd anticipate that being the part where the other different part goes. But what it actually is, is these little two stud things, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that is Emperor Palpatine. That is Darth Vader, and that is Luke Skywalker, and they are having the throne room battle on the inside. And it's just a little Easter egg that you know is in there, but isn't visible in the final model. So, Lego uh, does a lot of uh, cool things like that. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty sweet too. I had a nice, I had a nice uh, big genuine smile when I when I realized. Uh, what what they were going for there so that's one of the one of the uh cool things about uh lego of which there are many but that it you know has those those easter eggs and and fun secrets you know things sometimes get covered up in the final builds of even like you know even beyond like you know these are just cool building techniques sometimes sets will have like little almost like storytelling elements uh that are that are covered up in the final product but they're it's incredibly gratifying when you're building to realize like what they're going for like oh this is supposed to be a uh, blah 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 or whatever definitely a fun one all right well that is the end of bag number one here and uh, yeah, we're actually going to wrap up the stream here. I was originally hoping to be able to do a little bit of a longer stream today, but I got I got to practice a little more. I got to I got to be able to kill these takes. I've only got we've got three songs only left to record, but of course, they're all the hardest ones with the hardest riffs. So I've been practicing all of these riffs, the the really difficult ones, uh, a lot over the last few weeks. But I'm still just like I am nervous about it. So I want to uh, I want to wrap up here to uh, get a little more practice in, and then I'm hoping I'm hoping if we get done with recording the bass tracks today and tomorrow, that means next week when I come back to the stream, I'm gonna be so relaxed you're gonna see a zen side of me that has been in hiding <laughs> yeah thank you guys and thank you both so much for stopping by the stream today i really appreciate it um it's always fun getting to getting to chat with people here let's play our outro song here Yeah, I yeah I I've been wanting to come play uh, some magic soon. I it's uh, it's good to hear from someone in the community, um, and uh, yeah, I probably um, you know we'll it'll be a while till we wrap up the final versions of the recordings. But yeah, I I'm definitely gonna like you know if you're into heavy metal and and extreme music, I'll I'll be I'll be posting some of that stuff. So uh, definitely uh, something to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again both so much, and we'll see you next time.